The Landing is an emergency shelter with children entering foster care for the very first time spend roughly 72 hours. These kids are coming from an unsafe situation. They've been victims of abuse or neglect. Uh, many of them have been subject to mistreatment over many months or years. Uh, they're tired and scared. Often their life has become uh, pretty stressful and chaotic. We make sure that they have a safe, calm place in which to begin healing. In those first few days in foster care, they're really important. Uh, first of all, because they set the course for a child's entire experience in foster care. And second, often what we know or think we know about a child at that time is incorrect or incomplete. It's not uncommon for children to arrive at the landing with a file that is completely blank on the inside and on the outside it has John Doe or Jane Doe. So while we're providing excellent care to the child, we're also able to buy enough time for the child's social worker, a woman or man working hard behind the scenes to locate the best place for the child to go next. Often a relative, you know, grandma, grandpa, aunts, uncles, or a trained, licensed foster family. Without this critical working time, the first home that a child goes to may or may not be the right one for them. Often the best that a social worker can do is just guess. But if children are able to spend a few days at the landing, not only can we take great care of the child, but we can be really smart and strategic about uh, where the child is placed in foster care, which is better for everybody. It's better for the child, it's better for the family, and it's better for the social worker. That's why it's called the landing, uh, because if we can give kids a soft place to land as they crash into foster care for the first time, everything that comes after that, the next six months to three years that they spend in the system will be easier and smoother. Those first few days are, are critical and require a really special kind of care. There are two landings. Uh, one in Bellingham, which opened in 2015 uh, and has been caring for children ever since, and one in Ellensburg, which opened more recently in 2020. And each site is capable of caring for several hundred children each year. And that's not all. The real magic behind the landing is that it only takes two staff people to operate because the vast majority of this life trajectory altering care is provided by volunteers. I like to say that the landing is a lot like a volunteer firehouse. Men and women from all over the community who have other jobs and other responsibilities and other interests, they learn what we're up to and they decide they want to pitch in and help. So these folks get a little training, they undergo a background check, and then put themselves on the schedule to be available a few hours each month uh, whenever there are children in need. This configuration does a few things. First, it mobilizes an entire community to care for children in need, which is transformative in ways that reverberate out beyond just foster care. And second, the landing costs roughly one-fifth um, what comparable group care facilities do. So when you give your time or your resources here, we can make them go a really long way and impact a number of children. There are several ways to get involved right now. Uh, this effort is funded by people just like you uh, who make pledges of support at skookumkids.org slash give and or skookumkids.org slash volunteer uh, is where you can roll up your sleeves and be ready uh, anytime there are kids in need. Um, I personally work the Friday overnight shift, so sign up today and I really hope I get the chance to serve alongside you really soon.